boar, 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 boar. Yo, what's up? Oh, what's up, dude? I'm chilling, bro. You finally gonna give me a tour of your setup here? Yeah, I'm down. Where should I start? Show me what's going on with this wall. All right, for sure. So these are actually four Ikea pegboards that I mounted to the wall, and then I've got a bunch of fake ivy going around it. Dude, are you even paying attention? Oh, my bad. So like I was saying, we've got four Ikea pegboards and just a bunch of stuff I've collected over the years, like my cool digital pixel art frame that's showing the time, the date, and the weather. We've got some Sharpies and pens. We've got some miscellaneous tools like these construction pencils and some random thermal paste. We've got some cable management pieces. We can clean up a CPU with these. We've got a keyboard I really enjoyed using. We've got the box to my EVGA 3080 and rest in peace to EVGA GPUs. So let me move to this side and show you over here. We've got some Noctua Chromax fans, 140, 120, and a 92 millimeter. We've got some AMD Ryzen boxes up there. We've got some boxes to some Lee and Lee fans. And then we've got some of my favorite figurines, but I'm always swapping these out. And then we've also got a figurine of me before I retired. I remember your God of War days like it was yesterday. Okay, now show me the desk setup. So the entire desk setup is actually from Ikea. We've got the Calyx bookcase over here, and I like to keep my filming gear right here. We've got some cup holders over here, and then also some candles so it smells good in here. And those I like to keep blank or just filled with miscellaneous things I need at the time. And then we've also got some bins down here that I also keep miscellaneous things in. We've got the Carlby kitchen countertop, and it is the 98 inch version, so it's really long but it gives me a ton of space, which is awesome. And that's all sitting on top of these Alex drawers. And then I had to buy some spacers to bring the desktop up to make it level. And then I use the Herman Miller Embody Chair with the Atlas headrest. What about everything on the desk and on the wall? So over here, I've got this light that I use for video backdrops. We've got this really cool metronome that I use occasionally and then also this Bluetooth speaker that looks like an old school computer. And then as far as the monitors, they're both 1440p and 144 hertz, but the bottom one is a 34 inch ultra wide and the top one is 27 inches. And then I've got a key light over here as well as a webcam on the right side. And then on the desk, we've got a really large mouse mat, a wireless mouse, a wrist rest and a new keyboard I'm trying out that has the number pad on the left side and it's been really cool to use so far. We've got a phone holder over here. On the left and right, we've got these studio monitors that are sitting on these really cool stands. And those studio monitors are actually plugged into my audio interface so I can play guitar through this and it all goes through my computer and then outputs all of my computer stuff as well. And then on top of the studio monitors, we've got these fake plants. Wow, fake plants, man. It's kind of lame. I've always been good with maintaining things, but unfortunately, I'm a plant killer. It definitely ain't easy. And in my Alex drawers, I've got these really cool dividers so I can keep my stuff super organized. And then the last part of my setup is my microphone and the boom arm, and it is low profile, so whenever I'm not using it, I can just kind of swivel it out of the way, and then it's back there. And then on the wall, we've got some acoustic panels. And then up top, we've got a floating shelf with some ivy behind it again, some more fake plants, a Lego bonsai tree, my DanCam Uno you know license plate sign, and then these are some bonsai prints that I found online and I printed them out and framed them. So tell me about this super cool looking PC. So this is a PC I actually just recently built and I absolutely love how it came out. I took a ton of time with doing all the cable management and I ended up wrapping every single cable in the PC in two different kinds of cable sleeves. So it gives this really cool, you know, uniform look to it. But as far as specs goes, 
It's got a 7950 X3D CPU. It's got a 4080 Super graphics card. It's got four terabytes of NVMe storage. It's got 64 gigabytes of RAM at a speed of 6,000. It's got a thousand watt power supply. And then it's also got an X670E motherboard. Wow, that's super cool. Who the heck is that? Hmm. That's the master PC builder. Whenever anyone's showing off their PC, he's always nearby to judge it. Where did it even come from? The door's over here. Anyways, what about the closet? Look at you being all nosy. Not that it's any of your business what's in here, but... Excuse me. We got a case I'm gonna be swapping here too soon. The top shelf are some collaborations I'm doing with some companies. I've got this tote bag over here that's got all of my tools in it, so I can transport it around depending on what I'm doing. Some miscellaneous boxes, more boxes. These are for the recent PC build I just did. And then the bottom shelf are all of my filming props. And then on this side of the closet, We've got all the materials I used for the PC build I just did, all of the cable wraps. And then down here is a dresser, and it's also from Ikea, and it's got miscellaneous stuff. I've got cleaning products in here, PC parts, zip ties, and just a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. So what about this side of the room? So there's not much on this side of the room. I do have my workbench over here, which is basically a sit stand desk with a butcher block top. And I use it for building PCs, you know, use it as a prop and filming videos and basically anything else you would need a bench for. And it is on wheels so I can move it around really easily. So that's cool. And then in this corner, I have blackout curtains over my windows. And then I do have this lantern style softbox up here to provide more lighting in the room. And I've got my tripod over there when I need it. And then I do have this really cool pole that goes from the floor and that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And you can see my light is mounted to it. So it provides me with a ton more room in here. So I don't have a ton of standing lights that take up the very little precious space that I have. You didn't even mention the guitar. Oh, I did forget to mention it, huh? Well, it's a 2008, Fender Stratocaster, and it is a made in USA model. And it's probably one of the most favorite guitars that I've ever owned. It plays extremely well, it sounds great, and it's probably a guitar that I'm gonna own forever. And then below it, I've got this really cool metal poster that says Fender Stratocaster Guitars. Can you play us a tune to send us off? Mm -hmm. 